yo yo we're back in after effects and this is the clip we're gonna add that tattoo glow on this was actually firstly done by spa how do i pronounce his name oh my god bro oh hell no man this was actually firstly done by spooky if you don't already know him he's a really dope vfx artist i'll link his social down below so you can check it out so without wasting any more time this is the clip from that video too so the first thing we're gonna do is roto out his tattoo right here we're gonna add the glow in here you're gonna also add in other tattoos but i'm gonna go with this or we can do both probably let's see let's see so go to the first frame and take your roto brush tool and start rotoscoping around your tattoo if you don't know how to rotoscope i'll link a tutorial down below it's a really easy process so you can just follow it oh uh, i'm gonna not rotoscope i'll just main the tattoo on his forehead i'm gonna just go with this sign so after you're done rotoscoping you can just hit freeze to freeze up your rotoscope and lock in everything so we don't have problems in the future and now you can see my tattoo is rotoscoped out you can even go to the feather and play with that to get it to your liking but i guess it is fine in this case so i'm just duplicate the layer and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer to get back our background so right where the slow-mo happens i want the glow happen too so i'm gonna just trim it till here so like after this point there's a glow right here exactly how he did it in the video so we'll start by adding tint into our rotoscope layer then we can just set the black to white so our tattoo is fully white as you can see we can actually add like fill to instead of tint but you get the point after that i'm gonna add a glow you can use like normal glow and play with the size and also like duplicate it and like play with that to get a really cool glow but i'm gonna use a plugin called optical glow optical glow this glow is really dope also you can use like deep glow if you don't have it this is also really cool i'm gonna just use deep glow for now so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the black so go over to unmold and just hit required for text and it should remove your, remove your black and you can already see our tattoo is glowing which looks pretty cool uh you can all actually lower down the amount or bring up the size probably like about that and to add that color we're gonna go with the tint and just enable it and red is fine for me you can just set it to another color if you want and go with the mode and set it to like overlay and it should give it that glowy tint as you can see you can lower down the mix that's what i do like about that probably then you can also add like a heat wave if you want into it you need heat wave and bring up the amount a little bit and go to the distortion setting and lower down the size so the tattoo looks a bit alive you know what i mean i also lower down the, the flow speed to like 30 mm, 30 wait 30 and lower down the blur to like 11 you can just hit t to bring up your opacity and keyframe that too to like 0 to 100 you know like that then finally i'm gonna add a raise sapphire raise if you don't have sapphire you can add the normal raise like that play you can just play with it and get it to your liking but we would uh, use sapphire in my case for now so go over to the right where the tattoo comes in and select your raise make sure you save visibility is on and you should see this anchor point kind of thing and just put it in your tattoo and in center x and y you can just animate that to follow your tattoo like go a bit few frames and just set it to that go a bit go a bit set it to that you know the drill after you do that the race should follow your tattoo i will also lower down the raise brightness a bit uh like about this so it's like a bit subtle and also bring up the size too uh you can also go to length raid and just push it a bit uh so like that and i also like to put it before my heat wave now i'm gonna create a null layer real quick and you can just right click and go to new and just create a null layer i just did it quickly with workflow if you don't know what workflow is it's a script which allows you to add all of these adjustment layer and 
and all of this stuff in just one click it's also affiliate link so it helps me to create more videos like this so anyways just parent both of your layer into it like that and i'm gonna select this tool and just put this anchor point into my artist face mm, right above here and just hit s to bring up the scale and zoom it in i think i'm gonna also mess with the position um like that and you can just hit f9 and go over the speed graph and make a simple graph like this and turn on the motion bar for all of those lastly to add that impact i'm gonna use my shake bag so let's just go to sd and you can choose between all of these let's just go with radius sick for now and line up the keyframe and as you can see it looks so dope the sick looks so clean this shake pack is really dope comes with a lot of sick to use in your music videos also in my website i'm running a crazy bundle with my title pack and my sick pack 3d title pack allows you to add those insane titles to your videos while sick pack allows you to add those crazy sakes in your video i'll leave the link below it's on my website can check it out back to the video one thing i like to do is though is go over to my uh, flicker and just not keep him there and just keep him it in the beginning well so the flicker stays when the tattoo glow is happening also if you want you can create an adjustment layer and add like a effect called black and white and add like a curse to and just make it a bit dark uh, like about and add like a green into it and put it before your tattoo glow layer and you can also approach for this look that they did in the actual video or you can just leave it like the original one but i like both so my real looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram i'm really active there so yeah see you in the next video bye